They all seem correct to me. They all seem correct to you? I think you're wrong. My code, if my code is This week I'm with uh, somebody a little new. This is my girlfriend Charlie. Hi. Anyway. Okay. So the second part, which is a really strange questions, question system I don't understand. Uh, we need to choose the word that makes the sentence incorrect, not correct. Which to me seems really interesting. Very strange. Um, so, question one. Can you blank a suspect from those user profiles. The options are choose, identify, isolate, name, and recognize. Can you say it again? Can you... The instructions or the sentence? The sentence. Can you... Can you blank a suspect from those user profiles? The options are choose, identify, isolate, name, and recognize. Recognize spelt with a Z, the American way. <laughs> um, those all make sense to me. We do. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Good. Number two. Disorders of the central nervous system can blank various mental and physical abnormal abnormalities. Abnormalities. <laughs> Let me try that one again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Disorders of the central nervous system can blank various mental and physical abnormalities. Bring about, cause, give rise to, lead on, result in. Okay, I've got my answer, what do you think? This is going to be an awful lot of me leaning towards the camera because even my glasses aren't strong enough. Um... For clarification, she's currently wearing contact lenses and glasses and still can't read the screen. Please edit this out, Ted. He's roasting me. Don't edit it out. Leave it in. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't got many prescriptions. They all seem correct to me. They all seem correct to you? Am I wrong? I think you're wrong. If I heard, if I heard any of those, considering I'm not a teacher, but I'm a native English speaker, if I heard somebody say that, I wouldn't immediately go with something that's incorrect to 100%. That would seem okay to me. No, I so think... It really surprises me. That's they all make sense. That is so strange. I think they all make sense, and if we heard it, yeah. you wouldn't think anything of it. Mm. But I think lead on is incorrect. Because... I can understand that. Disorders of the central nervous system can lead on various mental and physical abnormalities. Ah, uh, It yeah. doesn't sound... It's not in the right tense. Or is it? It's no, it's not, I don't think it's to do with tense. I don't know if it is to do with tense. I, I still think it's the word that we would use. Yeah, it's not, it's not a phrase that we would use at that point. Um, so I think it's D. Okay. Question number three. It is blank that he will go bankrupt. It is blank that he will go bankrupt. Certain, doubtful, likely, regrettable, unfortunate. Okay. What do you think? They all seem correct. They all seem correct? Yeah, yeah, I say. Yes. Okay. I think they're all correct. I also think they're all correct. Yeah. yeah. I, I think all of these make sense. I think regrettable sounds a bit strange. It is regrettable that he will go bankrupt. Sorry. It's like... But if you say it's regrettable he will go bankrupt, it's, you know 100% that he will go bankrupt. And that's a shame, you know, it's a it bad thing. It doesn't make the, the thing incorrect in though. No, it, it doesn't it make... It changes the meaning of it, that's all. Yeah, it doesn't make it incorrect, it just sounds a bit strange. That's why. I think. Mm. Um, okay. Question number four. This is the last blank option. This is the last blank option. Approved, available, existing, left, possible. Yeah, I've got mine. Left. Yes. Which is B, right? No, nope. D. D. Yeah. I know I know English isn't technically your first language, but you can at least do the alphabet. <laughs> the alphabet right? is close enough, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the last left option. Um, D 
the only way to have this sentence make sense would be this is the last option left. Um, the word order is incorrect if you say it like that. So the answer is D. And the, f the final question in this section. We blank our grandfather to use a smartphone. Convinced, encouraged, persuaded, suggested, urged. Suggested is incorrect. Yes. Um, Why? Because if you say suggested, you'd have to have something after. We suggested that our grandfather yeah. use. The two wouldn't make sense. Good. Um, what two? If you said we suggested our grandfather to use. Oh, it, right. It I see what you mean. Yeah, no, it doesn't. That's right. It suggested. Doesn't fit there, though. Suggested doesn't make sense. Um, just from the collocations there, you would use that. We suggested our. We suggested that our grandfather should use a smartphone, for example. Um, okay. And, and section number five. Choose the best option from the box to fill each of the blanks in the passage below. If no word is necessary, choose option G. You may use any option more than once. Should we do this together? Yes. <laughs> so we have William... Oh, God. William Butler <laughs> Yeats. Yeats! No! <laughs> was, was born blank Dublin blank June 13th, 1865. He studied to become a painter like his father, but abandoned that profession blank 1886 blank favour of literature. He was heavily involved blank the movement for the Irish Literary Revival and founded the Irish Literary Theatre. So this is all preposition work, this is all grammar. Um, it's fairly, fairly easy if you know your prepositions, but if you don't it's very difficult because all these little words in English mean a lot but don't mean a lot at the same time. So I'm sure you've probably got some answers. Uh, yeah, that's already some I think. Yeah? Have you read them out so that everybody can know them? Good point. I mean, they are on the screen, but I'll do that anyway. So, A is against, B at, C in, D on, E out, F two, and G is no word. Don't need to add anything. So, and you can use them more than once. You don't just choose each one. So, number one. In. In. Good. You're born in somewhere. Um, so I was born in Eastbourne. You were born in Wales, and, and this person was born in Dublin. Mm -hmm. uh, two. Or you can contribute as well. Okay, I will contribute as well. Uh, number two <laughs> is on. So William Butler Yeats was born in Dublin on June thirteenth, eighteen sixty-five. Yes, I agree. Yes. Okay, he studied to become a painter like his father, but abandoned that profession. That'd be it. Okay. In eighteen eighty-six. Mm -hmm. Oh, Number four. Oh, in again. Yeah, so this favor. is in twice in a row. Yes. So the full sentence. He studied to become a painter like his father, but abandoned that profession in 1886 in favour of literature. Mm -hmm. He was heavily involved in the movement for the Irish Literary Revival and founded the Irish Literary Theatre. So out of five questions, in is four of them yep. and on is number two. So that's quite simple, but again, if you don't know prepositions, that can be fairly difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's everything for Waseda, Waseda, Waseda Law Department. Um, I think this was compared to, who was it? Keo. Compared to Keo University Law Department, I think this one was a fair amount easier. Mm. Um, what do you mean, mm, you didn't do the last one? No, but I was with you when you did the last one. Oh, you were? I was. I was watching him. We were yeah. looking very confused. You yeah. guys missed out on an awful lot of this one frowning at the screen. <laughs> Alright. Well, <laughs> thank you. That does it for this week. And hopefully I'll see you next week with some more English uh, without this Welsh person to intervene. So, thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Bye. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.